Thank you for purchasing from Garbage Commander. Happy to bring these videos of how to install our products. Hi, I would like to thank you for purchasing our bumper hook, and today we're going to show you how to assemble it. In your packet, what you should have is a center pad, an expandable pad, the main mounting bracket that'll have already the, the hook and everything attached, and then a single can carrying um, mounting bracket for the can. Tools you'll have will be the hardware set. You'll have a PTO to hold the can to the bracket. The tools you're going to need are going to be either in combination three uh, 9 16 and 7 16 socket or combination wrench, open end wrench or combination wrench. So let's get started. We're going to take our main support bracket. What will end up happening is we're going to put our expandable pad and our center pad. To start with, I find it easier with our pad is to add our inch and a quarter or a quarter inch by inch and a quarter screws and washer. And they mount inside where we have it dadoed out. Once we have our, our bolts and washers in place in our center pad, expand the wing pad. That's going to be to keep the handles at the end when you're making a turn. And just slip the two pads together, lining them up. So what we're going to have is a sandwich like that. Now all that's going to do is fit on the back side of the bracket. The bolts will stick through the face. And we're going to take our quarter inch lock nut, which has a neoprene washer on the front. And that will keep it nice and tight. Shouldn't vibrate off on you once we get this locked in place. Once we get it started, we're going to take our 7 16 and socket and open end wrench. And secure those nice and tight so that we're actually pinching through all three, all three components. That's going to help bury those heads of those bolts even deeper into the pad, preventing it from scraping on the bumper. To check to see if you've got it deep enough, you should see the bolt just peeking through the top of the screw, the bolt. Now we can assemble the can hook. Take a bolt, put it through, take your washer, your hooks will be up. Put the hook with the washer in between, another neoprene bolt. Keep in mind that that starts getting tight just as you get to the wa to the neoprene washer. Now you use your 9 16 wrench and socket or combination. And it will be snug as you're trying to tighten it up. So we want to get it right to the point where it's really snug and it's hard to turn, but it's allowing it still to turn and pivot. 
once we get to the car we can adjust our strap because right now you have the adjustability by just tightening or moving the clamp end that will mount to the center of the door latch and once that's in place it's really simple you put your can handle through the bottom side of the hook and to secure the can handle from falling forward you'll put your PTO pin through one of the top holes you only need one PTO pin and we're set to haul so next step we'll show you installing on the car keep in mind that the PTO clip might be tight when you first get it you can bend it apart so that it's not as stiff trying to open it up and slipping it through now that we made the major assembly of our bumper hook it's time to adjust it to fit our actual car's bumper take your center clip and in your car you're going to have a center mount if you don't have a center mount the product might not work that's your trunk lid latch make the hook on you're going to hold the hook just so that it's in the center flush on the bumper you're going to take these draws straps and you're going to get them nice and tight so that it hangs in the center so just make that final adjustment pulling them tight so that it'll be suspended in the center a distance that we like to have is anywhere from 14 inches on the low side to 21 inches on the high side once we determine that that's a nice fit, it's in the center of the bumper, we will take our zip ties and just pull the straps the opposite direction once we've decided where we want them. And we're going to use our zip ties just to make sure that those cannot come adjusted. So once we get it in place and we like it at this height, snug the zip ties up. Now we can do one of two things, either we can cut this off, but I just recommend leaving them. If you have any black tape, you may want to just tape the ends so that it's not hanging and loose and in your way you can cut the zip ties off and you're set to go to put the can on. So now that we got it mounted to the center latch, every time we want to use it, we'll just quickly hook it, set it down. Then we bring our can handle, cans over, mount it in between so that it rests. Take our PTO pin that, again, we can make a little bit looser by just pulling on the, the spring. Drop it down into the center, either one side or the other, it doesn't matter, there's two positions. So that'll keep it from wanting to try and slip out. This will pull away when you start, will pull away and then come back. I mean, it's only fastened by one point, but drive slow enough to where we don't make sudden stops or start off with a real fast acceleration. And we're all set to go until we get to our curb. You we'll take it off, throw it back in your car when you're done and repeat the process and you're all set to take them back and forth. Again, I want to thank you for purchasing our products. And remember, hashtag master the can.